Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I want to talk about some things that come with your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription that you might not realize come with your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. To get to those things, we need to open the Creative Cloud app. Once you have the app open, go to the second tab from the left, the Apps tab. And when you go to that tab, you'll notice if you scroll down just a bit, you'll have everything that you have installed on your machine listed here. In this case, you can see I have Photoshop, Acrobat, InDesign, Lightroom, Bridge, Lightroom Classic, and Camera Raw installed on this computer. You'll also notice that if I hover over any of these, some icons appear on the right-hand side. That's what I'm talking about. And for this demonstration, let's look at Lightroom Classic. When I hover over Lightroom Classic, you can see that five icons appear on the right-hand side. If I hover over the first icon, it says Tutorials. We'll click on that, and you'll see there's a number of Lightroom tutorials here. You can see that there's an 11-minute video for Essentials. There's Best Practices 11 minutes, Fix an Overexposed Photo 2 minutes, and so on. So there are a lot of different videos here that you could access on working with Lightroom, helping you uh, learn more of the features of Lightroom, and so on. Let's go back to that Apps tab, and let's go back to Lightroom Classic, and hover over the next icon, and it says Templates. Now, when you click on this, this one's relatively worthless, uh, because when you click on it, it brings you to the Adobe website, and it's encouraging you to purchase Lightroom, or, it's a, or at least the Creative Cloud subscription, get a Creative Cloud subscription. And as you can see, I'm logged in. So... I'm not sure this is really nothing. So that icon to me is worthless. Let's go to the next icon though, Browse Plugins. We'll click there and you'll see that there's a number of plugins you could download for in this case, Lightroom Classic. There's a Smug Mug Publish plugin. There's 10 free presets. There's free orange and teal presets. There's Cinematic Vibes 01 for Lightroom Cl uh, Classic and so on. So there's a lot of freebies here. Most of them are presets, but some of them will be plugins. In this case, you see the one for SmugMug. Now, not everything is free. If I go to this dropdown and change it to most recent, you'll see that there's a street film preset for $57 and so on. There's vintage actions and presets for $15. So not everything is free, but there is a lot of free stuff here. If we go back to top rated, you can see that there's a neural picks smart prefits for Lightroom and it says free and so on. So lots of free stuff, but some paid stuff as well. So that again is, if we go down to Lightroom Classic, that is the browse plugins icon. Next to that is the support community. If you have a problem with any Adobe app that you have installed on your system, the first thing you should do, in my opinion, is go to your Creative Cloud app, hover over the app you're having a problem with. In this case, let's say Lightroom Classic. Click on Support Community, and it will go to the Support Community at Adobe. This is the best resource for problems. So if you have a problem, go here. You could search for it because chances are someone else has already experienced that problem, and chances are someone has gave them the fix for that problem and you could search for it here now if you can't find it you could post it yourself so post your problem there's a lot of people here that are very helpful and adobe support technicians do monitor this and they chime in as well when they know the problem and they know how to fix it so whenever you have a problem with any adobe creative cloud app go to the support community now the last icon is Adobe Live. If we click on that, you'll see that there's a lot of different videos that you could watch that, like in this one, turn your travel folders, photos into dreamy art. This one's Tone Curve. Um, here we just have this photographer, Mitchell Rouse, is working on a project. So you can see the projects different photographers are working on and so on. So there's a lot here. You can also click on View More and it will open this up on a web page and you'll be able to see more stuff that you could view in this case concerning Lightroom Classic. Now again, 
I've been just hovering over the different icons for Lightroom Classic. If you're a Lightroom desktop user, you would go here. If you're talking about Photoshop, you could go here and you can see there's tutorials on Photoshop. How familiar are you with Photoshop? So kind of allows you to drill down to give Adobe an idea of what your experience is, and then they'll give you the appropriate videos for your experience level. So you could do that there and so on. So that's available for any app that you have installed on your computer. You can see some of them have less, like Adobe Acrobat. You know, there's going to be less for that compared to, let's say, Lightroom Classic. So those are some things that come with your Creative Cloud subscription that you might not realize are there because, you know, who opens up the Creative Cloud app and knows he's around in here? So that's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.